in a different video. So, um, one habit that I'm trying to implement is the, mm, let's not say daily habit of drawing, but um, yeah, almost daily, so that it's uh, something you can um, go to. And there's a guy called Dr. Rocky Art. He's on Instagram and he's on YouTube. Um, I haven't fully checked him out, but he has a really cool YouTube channel with a lot of tutorials um, and also cool Instagram. And I was just, as you can see, I was constructing this face. It looks like a brick. Maybe I went a bit too, too broad. But still, it was cool. I was constructing the face and then putting it, as you can see, the light sources. And then he tells me like, um, see, you have an eye here. And then here is your eye eyebrow line. And then a bit uh, deeper is the eye line. And then in the middle, you have your ghost eye. And the dead ghost eye um, is as broad as your nose and stuff like that. So I will link Mr. Dr. Rocket Art down below. Um, then I was, was, I was here, um, doing research. Um, I watched, I, I went to movie school because there was no comic school. And so I watched the shield, the Sopranos. I'm very much into TV shows, storytelling movies. Um, and I hope I will put this, um, watching and writing and having a certain sensibility for story to good use in the near future. But also, and here we come uh, um, to like games like um, Age of Empires 2, Times to the Starcraft, Zelda, um, and then like New Metal. I'm, I'm very into like, the, that's, the, that's the era where I was born. I was born in 85. And so the 80s and 90s and early 2000s are um, where I got like, how to say it, I mean, formed the most and soaked everything up. So this is what I call my juice of life and where I draw my inspiration from for stories, for artwork, for the things I love. And um, it's different for everybody. So every time you return to your own juice, things that um, make you powerful or funny or happy, um, I think that's a good spot. Then I was drawing a babe. I don't know. This was uh, from an Instagram page, Thomas uh, Pitilli. I will or might link him also down below. Um, it's not it's not perfect or not even uh, as good. But I was just um, not knowing really the structure on the underneath. Um, like if you like the construction, you can definitely. Um, try to trace or uh, um, copy it, um, but you're maybe not getting it 100% the whole anatomy. But I was just having fun, just like mindlessly drawing, just getting into the flow. And sometimes this is very good because it gives you it gives you a good feeling. Um, I am not sure how everything connects on the body yet which is a shame because I'm drawing for so long, but um, I always wanted to do a page, draw stuff. And sometimes you don't need this because this is like all covered in cloth. And um, But sometimes you do need it. And I think to be educated in anatomy and constructing things will definitely give you the powers you need to create um, great artwork, great paintings, whatever you want to do, like everybody can do this. Like if you have a driver's license or if you have learned how to brush your teeth or you know what I mean, um, or how to, everybody can learn to draw. And so um, really no excuses and just trying to get like um, the shapes in and how everything connects, how like, the biceps gets here uh, underneath the, sh the shoulder muscle deltoids, I guess, and then how the chest forms, and then here the six pack, and underneath the six pack is like the belly button, and then how these muscles connect here, and I guess this is the la latissimus, and you know, 
you're getting a hang of it. Um, let me put it down here. Let's just show it. Then I was like a Carla Diaz comic, and she drew like very beautifully. And um, I like my drawing is not uh, comparable to hers, but I wanted, as you can see, these are very um, quick sketches. I just wanted to get the feeling right and see if I can soak up some of her lines and a bit of the flow that was going on and pretty beautifully like here the shoulder and then it goes back here and just the construct constructions beautifully then I was looking um, I have one colleague um, Solanum um, a German colleague who draws comics and illustrations and I and I told him man I love your style and he told me well it's not entirely my style I steal a lot from uh, Alphonse Mucha which I guess is an artist from the early do you say 1900s um, but like a German or I, I think he's a German artist and check out on Instagram the real Alphonse Mucha um, and here I was looking at a, at another artist called um, well Onosam but as you can see just trying to uh, get different art styles oh, I can't focus okay come on um, just trying uh, trying to get different art styles and then I was trying to well, I can't get my camera sharp. Come on. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, now we have it. Um, and then here was trying to get um, Latissimus Dorsey. Oh, please bear with me. I have camera problems. Okay, let's look on this. Um, and then I was looking on Safi FR and just trying to get um, again a feeling like this were like drawings I did um, after after lunch and yeah and I think um, studies like this are good and you will you will gain knowledge of the anatomy and how it all works how it all connects if you have a book and that book explains you, okay, these muscles must connect this way. And um, here's the biceps and the brachi brachialis. Um, I guess this is Alex Horley or um, his real name is Alessandro Ornandelli. And yeah, I was just, as you can see, drawing the shapes. It's not all perfect, but you will get a feeling. Um, I mean, at least... The drawings are not stiff um, they have a certain feel and breathing to it and yes yeah, you can see I was just studying drawing this is from a good friend of mine uh, Crisp he's called on um, Instagram and this was from a fitness youtuber and I just um, found his body so aesthetic and I was just drawing the body um, and I was pretty happy with how it came out but yeah, just uh, and and then I was uh, definitely while I was drawing, I was also asking myself, um, learn your fundamentals, draw, get a great book on anatomy, um, and as you can see, like um, I want also to get my music. Um, habit down and then writing how did Robert Kirkman make it because I've seen on YouTube that he has um, definitely interviews and maybe I can emulate him or just see what did he do how did he do it um, and maybe what works for him might work for me might not work for me uh, maybe I go a different way but sometimes you see a certain pattern and then you can try to do it your own uh, yourself um, how did he create an epic like the walking dead and I think um, he did it issue by issue and he just stuck with it um, which is good but a show and a comic 
uh, Mr. Top Notch Sopranos. Yeah, well, I was putting stuff down for myself, and as you can see again, Dr. Rocky Art um, trying to draw a Batman. He drew his Batman much better than I was kind of trying some cross hatching. I guess this is a uh, David. Uh, Finch Fincher um, study, but again here, I'm trying. I'm 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 now understanding like how how the shoulder comes down, and then here triceps, brachialis, biceps, how these muscles, like I'm 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 beginning to understand, and that, that there is a muscle that comes down here, and then, yeah, <coughs> a friend of mine got an alien T-shirt with a great great illustration. Um, I didn't draw it fully. But as you can see, like I was very intrigued by how good the alien was drawn. Maybe some Chris Wagner drawing. I don't know. I will research that. And yeah, I'm just getting things down. Uh, Yevgeny Fstrati. Maybe that's the Instagram account. And as you can see, again, trying to figure out shapes, forms. Um, this is like qu quadriceps or something like this, is it right? And then how things connect and yeah. This looks very like a, a Sal or Steve or like a Bushema drawing, but it was something different. But as you can see, like uh, a barbarian body really beautifully. And uh, the more you do, the more feeling you get. And then I was asking myself, how did Daniel Warren Johnson do it? Uh, can I make a living from from Patreon uh, with my comics and with my YouTube channel? And yeah, like uh, thoughts, drawings. Um, while I was drawing these, I was listening to uh, Dr. Mark Hyman and Cynthia Lee, both doctors, both had brain fog, Hashimoto's disease which is like uh, a rampant uh, disease. And I would say it has nothing to do with a thyroid. It has everything to do with the GI uh, problems, with the stuff we eat, with the crap um, that's tr thrown at us. And I don't believe that there isn't a solution. Like I'm, I'm very much into finding out um, the truth, like I see myself as a shaman, a medicine man, a writer, a comic artist, a painter, a tribesman, singer, songwriter, guitarist. It is a bunch of stuff, but if you if you imagine a shaman, um, a shaman is maybe also a MC, master of ceremony. Dance games and this is all maybe um part of um healing like getting your cortisol down you know what i mean and de-stressing and a bonding with the tribe so all these things here um allow myself or maybe um a shaman to bring healing to his people and i see myself now as a warrior um, if I can aspire, I will aspire to a body like this because I think um, Western society has gotten really soft and we need to return to a good and healthy blood, to a good and healthy mind and a GI system, to teaching stuff that's really good. Like if I can, I would never return to a 9 to 5, to a mindless job because like this for me, the video I'm making right now, I do it with all my passion. If you can see like these drawings, they're maybe not perfect, but uh, I'm very passionate about this stuff, very passionate about teaching it, very passionate about sharing what I know and making the audience, the viewer stronger. So you yourself can be what you want to be and what you should be. Um, Wizard, King, Golden Goose and Lover. And so far for the drawing, um, I guess I'll show you now um, in a couple of next minutes. Like I made 
Um, this is my Norwell Wolf. This is a commercial, commercial. No, no, it's not. Um, if you want to buy stuff from me, it's down in the um, in the links down below. But I'm also setting up shops for um, selling designs on T-shirts, like you know what I mean, the merch, the prints, uh, the games. And right now it's on Etsy and then it's on eBay. But I pay. Um, I pay fees and I'm thinking about uh, like Shopify or Big Cartel or updating my own homepage so I don't have to share a cut with somebody else or just expanding the market. And um, in 2015, this is the third version of the game. So there are sometimes uh, more than one version. Um, not that I make many versions, but um, you always try to implement. The first time around, this was just black and white. But then somebody told me, man, how can I distinguish the back from the front? And then at a certain point, I put on um, my DairyDonato.com on it. And um, I think I stole this from somehow Mike Mignola or Bram Stoker's Dracula. And um, this is a game that is selling very good. I will sell, set up uh, in the near future the designs um, for the print, for printing, for illustrations, for t-shirt designs. And I will give this game his own German and English channel for pro promotion and uh, marketing. How do you say? Marketing, um, yeah. Yeah, for marketing so that I can sell more because I have still uh, a bunch of these down in my basement. So you can see I'm not just into illustration, uh, I also make the comics. Sure, this is a World of the Party games, but I kind of enhanced it. Um, I had to um, write down the rules. This is like the party game you know, but then um, I added a few tweaks um, because I thought this is the German rules, this is the English rules. As you can see, when you're a creator and you make products, um, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go the whole way. If it's a comic, you gotta do the cover, the back page, the thank you things. If you do a, if you do a game, you gotta know how is it packaged, how do I get it shipped. Um, small issues with the cards, back, front, and then also sometimes like the rules, game setups, preparations, day and night discussion. And then this is like um, the core game, which hasn't changed. Um, the little girl, I called her Lil Sue, because I knew um, I could copy certain things because this is an open game, but um, I had to stay away from copyrighted stuff and so I made it my own, which uh, in the beginning I, I was a bit unsure, but then it gave this game again a bit of a boost, um, a bit of a, his own flavor, because like there's just a lupus omega just in this game or a holy Julie, which is just a healer, like uh, she's in uh, also other games, but yeah. And well, I'm, I'm showing you this one because uh, the past few days, and I'm looking at down below. I'm working on, for the past two years since Corona started, I'm working on a trading card game in the likes of Flesh and Blood and Magic the Gathering and all of that stuff. And um, as you can see, um, I could print um, a sheet like this out, but usually I just take a card, I put out the rulers and it just feels I don't know, more meditative for me. And um, this is like the um, Half-Life section, which I'm trying to include some uh, Marines um, and like Gordon Freeman. And then I'm putting in some wolves and a Sa Santa Claus with a shotgun. I'm just browsing over this very fast. Then I'm putting in something like Blade and garlic and the reaper vampires and nomek sure i cannot use these names but um i will change it all up like in the other game but you can see like card game is really my my thing then i don't know wh what was this like priest reinhardt these are vampires who 
Um, these are with the vampires from Blade 2 who are trained to hunt Blade. So we have a vampire special operative team and then I was thinking about how to kill a vampire because some movies yeah crosses work garlic work some movies use uh, very different stuff then I was uh, thinking about the movie dogma and we have here uh, an angel who's fallen and becomes a demon and he says I'd rather not exist than go back to hell and you can play all these characters and as you can see I'm totally totally uh, yeah creating a lot of cards and um, I'm planning right now to make a starter deck uh, vampire hunters versus um, vampire scum and this is the vampire scum and these are the vampires and no these are the vampire hunters and if you want to see more of this go to the end times tcg and i will and you will see what you need to see there but as you can see a lot of development going in there and i will cut the video now off and we'll see us there